Hello, it's Bricks All Over back with a new segment called Building the Army. Just a little bit of information about this new segment called Building the Army. This will pertain to all the Star Wars minifigures. I want to collect every type and every version of the Star Wars figures, such as, as you can see, here is all the Jedi's I have behind me. And I will also probably call this BTA from time to time for short for building the army but let's take a closer look at all the different things I have. As you could tell in the intro I showed you all the different Jedi's and as you can see I'm grouping them by each variant and also like the oldest to newest like there's episode 2 Yoda and then the Clone Wars I did the old one before the new one, and as you can see, I got that for each version. Like, I have the most Jedi of Obi-Wan. I have some old, but I don't, there's some that I don't have complete from getting from a different lot. Like, there's Anakin, young to old. There's Luke, and then here are the Jedi that I don't, that only have one versions, or... I only have one version of them. Next here we have the clones and as you can see I grouped it by the different types of clones and some don't really have different versions but there's some questions I got to talk to you about this this um, segment and that is what should I do with the clones like those are the clone the ones on the black base plates are what I'm using for the ones that are different. And then I'm asking, what should I do with my duplicates? Because, like, you can easily see them in the background, like, on here. Plus, I have here these other clones that are duplicates. And also some I custom made using Sharpie. But as you can see, I have these other sets here. But I just want to know what should I do with these clones or even the other parts of the minifigures. What should I do that make will make them separate from like the ones on the black base plates which are the ones that are the ones I'm collecting. Next here we have the droid army and I obviously don't have that much base plates I don't collect too much figures. I have a lot of minifigures, but, and there's a lot that, um, are duplicates here, but some, some I need to customize on my own because I have a lot of droid parts and I know I probably can make some of them with my own parts just by looking off of Bricklink, which Bricklink and the video Brick Show made where it's the complete Star Wars collection is the main two references references I look off of and I'm not using the huge droids like the Corporate Alliance tank droids and the homing spider droids but I'm mostly using possibly the droidicas and all these little battle droids and as you can see I have some of them but I have to um, get either more plates or more minifigure plates as you can see it's next to the Jedi army here and some I ha I partially built but I may do building droids in another segment where I actually have the parts for more of them and right next to the droids I have the bounty hunter which I'm not going to cheat by using magnets and keychains but I got that there just to show that I have that, but because there's not really any place where I can put that, but that's just there for now. And then I have some Separatists, which this might be the Bounty Hunter, Pirate, and other guys, like other bad guys, but they can't really do anything, such as Pong Krell there. And let's look at the Sith. So here are the Sith part of my collection. I, as you can see, I have a lot of single ones. I have one Darth Vader, but also with the Sith, I can keep all my my um, Imperial guys. But 
This might change because obviously it's going to fill up if I keep collecting. And I am going to have to reorganize. And there are some of the figures that are duplicates up there in my Imperial place. Here are the Rebels for the temporary location that I keep them right now. As you can see, that is mostly why I want to have those special minifigure base plates. To keep them separate from what they look like and to keep them standing up because, as you can see, they easily fall. But um, I have a few, but I don't, of course, I don't have them all yet. And there is Charger right there all alone. Right here, I have my indoor scene, but... I'm not doing a room tour right now. I have the Ewoks. I only have two right now. Hopefully I get the Ewok Village. And then I have the Troopers. And then these are my Hoth Troopers. And as you can see, I have a few, but it's it's a pretty good collection. Also, the last part is my Tatooine scene, which I have. That is an extra R2-D2. And what I might do with my some of my extra figures, I might trade them with my friends if they have figures I need to complete. Because if you watched my last video, you might have heard that I am saving up for a Death Star. So it's going to be hard to buy much anything when I'm saving up. Because I really want to get that before it retires. And then next we have... The Rancor, and I'm gonna have to find a way to display the big figs or Shaba, and then I displayed these like this just for now so it looks a lot better that it's a different variant. So that pretty much wraps up this video. As you can see, I have a lot of progress, but there is so many figures that I'm not sure if I'll be able to completely buy every single one, but having the goal in mind. Makes it look really cool, as is especially when I see these Obi Wan's. That's what it'll look like for a lot of different figures, such as Anakin. And as you saw, I in the Sith place, I also kept Darth Vader away, but I wanted like the question I wanted to ask before: What do I do with the extra mini figures that are just lying around? I may trade some, but. Where where do I put the other ones that I don't trade? So that is my video. So thanks for watching. Bye